Hello again, and welcome back to part 3 of our Dalit Amberfin workflow engine tutorial. In this episode, we will explore the advanced end user stencils. We won't really go into the configuration of these just yet. We will cover that in a later episode. The first set of advanced stencils I'd like to show you are related to cloud storage, specifically Amazon S3 buckets. There are different ways of incorporating cloud technology in your Dalit workflow. As an example, this customer uses the Dalit workflow engine on-premise but orchestrates all of their transcoding using their Amberfin Dark installation in the cloud. They receive and deliver all of their files on S3 storage, so it makes sense for their Amberfin Dark transcode nodes to also run on AWS. Let's draw out a simple S3 workflow. First, you can start a workflow when a file of a specific file extension is detected in the S3 bucket, using this as a start event. Once you put the S3 watch folder start event on your canvas, you can adjust all the properties for this task such as entering the S3 access key, secret access key, bucket name, how often you want the S3 bucket to be pulled, and define what file extensions will trigger the workflow when they are detected in the S3 bucket. The next step is to download the file from the S3 bucket. So let's drag and drop the S3 download stencil to the canvas and connect that to the start event. In the properties, you need to define the S3 bucket information and which folder you want to download the file to. Now I want to transcode the content using the Amberfin Dark transcode stencil. So let's drag the stencil on the canvas and connect that up to the download event. In the properties, I choose the profile I want to transcode the file to, how I want the file to be named, and where I want the file to be stored. Once the file is transcoded, I can upload the content back to an S3 bucket by dragging and dropping the S3 upload stencil onto the canvas. And we are done. So let's put an end event and connect that to our workflow. There are also some advanced stencils for integrating with accelerated file transfer products. Here I have stencils for Aspera, and you will see more in future releases, including Signiant and File Catalyst. Sometimes a user task is required, such as to conduct a manual QC. So we have a stencil for that as well. And we also have a user stencil to conduct an external task, such as edit content on an NLE if required. The last set of stencils included in the advanced stencil set are for complex integration. I can execute a command line or write custom scripts such as to notify a third party of an event via their API if the workflow engine does not integrate natively with this third party. That's all for the advanced and user stencils. Join me in the next episode where we will put all of these together and build a real workflow. To find out more about our products and solutions, please visit www.dalit.com. If you find this video helpful or have suggestions for future tutorials, you can tweet us at Dalit Academy or email us at academy at